Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. A 2015 budget surplus gave way to the promise of cutting taxes, but health care money uncertainty put things in jeopardy. The Florida House is back with a tax cut package significantly less than what they wanted at the beginning of the year. I'm going to ask the committee to favorably report a $436 million tax cut. The package promises to save Floridians $436 million over the next two years. The hope at the beginning of 2015 was that nearly $700 million would be slashed. The part of the original package that took the biggest hit was a cell phone tax cut. The governor had been pushing to save the average family around 43 bucks a year, but the tax package will only save people around 10 bucks this year. I got to fish with the lures that work. We passed a huge CST cut during regular session and uh, we were unable to get the Senate to take up uh, the reduction in the CST. Democrat Jose Rodriguez tried to tack on an amendment that taxed outside businesses operating in Florida and put that money towards health care. Closing some corporate tax loopholes generates revenue that will relieve that burden on the local level. Republicans voted it down. The amendment fails. The Florida Chamber is happy with the overall proposal, even though they were hoping for more cuts. Would the Florida Chamber like to see a $690 million tax cut package? Absolutely. Other portions of the package include a three-day back-to-school sales tax holiday moved up closer to the school year and three separate holidays to help college kids buy textbooks tax-free. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.